Hello, welcome to my channel on the interwebs. It is Thursday the 24th and we got good news from the government. They're actually behaving nicely. Biden, we have a deal on the infrastructure with bipartisan groups of senators. According to CNN Politics, President Joe Biden said Thursday he has agreed to a deal on infrastructure with a bipartisan group of senators after White House officials and the senators have a massive breakthrough the night before in their infrastructure negotiations. Both Republicans and Democrats said Wednesday evening that there was an agreement reached with the White House officials and 10 senators on a bipartisan infrastructure deal. And Thursday afternoon, Biden said that he signed off on agreement. To answer your direct question, we have a deal, he said. Though hurdles remain, it is unclear if the proposal will have enough support from the GOP senators or progressive lawmakers to end up as law. The announcement agreement is significant development that could pave the way with the passage of a chunk of Biden's domestic agenda. We all agree that none of us got what we wanted. I clearly didn't get all of what I wanted. They gave more than I think. Maybe they were planning to give in the first place, but this remains me of days when we used to get an awful lot done up in the Congress. President uh, said bipartisan deals mean compromise. But of course, what is one of the hurdles? Well, that is crazy Nancy. That's right, Miss Ice Cream Nancy. Now, I have no clue. What the hell she's talking about? Someone in the comment tell me what the hell she's talking about. Because I have no freaking clue what this is talking about. Now, I've been kind of absent when it comes to politics. Especially when it comes to the federal stage. Plosky House won't take up the bipartisan bill until the Senate votes on reconciliation. What does that mean? I thought that was a process. According to CNN Politics, again, House Speaker Nancy made it clear on Thursday that the House won't take up the bill on bipartisan infrastructure until the Senate passes a larger, more sweeping infrastructure package through budget reconciliation. I don't understand what this means. I thought the, um, are they trying to do two bills that do the same thing? Are they trying to double tap this? Because if that's, if that's what it is, uh, no, I don't understand why they can't merge one bill into one and waste and save wasting time so she pretty much said let me be clear in this will not take up the bill in the house until the senate passes the bipartisan bill and the reconciliation bill if there's no bipartisan bill then we'll just go with the senate passes the reconciliation bill the california democrat said thursday during her weekly news conference this ain't going to be no bipartisan bill unless we have a reconciliation bill. She said, as I said, there won't be any infrastructure bill unless we have a reconciliation bill. Plain and simple fact, I use the word ain't. There ain't going to be an infrastructure bill unless we have the reconciliation bill passed by the United States Senate. Now, I have no clue what the re reconciliation bill is that she's talking about. I even went to this site here, The Hill, where Biden says, pretty much echoing the same thing, Biden says he won't sign a bipartisan bill without a reconciliation bill, but it's very confusing, a lot of double speak. so hopefully someone down below can tell me what the heck is going on. So leave a comment down what your thoughts are, smash the like and subscribe button on all platforms, but more importantly, have yourself a wonderful day, morning, or evening.